Jimmy Cullen is a prisoner, who is serving his sentence in prison. He sees a photo on the wall of his cell, in which, he and his brother are together. Then some officers come here who take Jimmy out of his cell, because after many years his sentence is over now, and he is about to be released from prison. Before he is released from prison, Jimmy is brought to the warden. Warden tells him, that you are a very good person, so I want you to get out of here, and start a new life. But Jimmy doesn't mind her words, because he wants to get out of here as soon as possible. After getting out of prison, Jimmy quickly arrives at a junkyard, where someone has placed a car for him, and inside the car, a gun and a file containing the details of some people. After getting all these things, Jimmy quickly leaves from here with a car at full speed, and from there, he directly comes to an office. As soon as he comes here, Jimmy shoots a man, because this man's name and photo were in his file. After eliminating his first target, Jimmy comes across Roy Grone, the man who gave Jimmy the car and the gun. Roy is an informer, who works for people by taking money, Jimmy says, that now I want the name and address of my next target. Actually, when Jimmy was in prison, he had given a lot of money to Roy, so that he can bring the information of some people to him. Before giving the information of those people, Roy tells Jimmy, that it took me five years to get the information of those people, so I need more money. Hearing this, Jimmy gets very angry and goes ahead to beat Roy, but then Roy asks his bodyguard to beat Jimmy. Here bodyguard comes to know that Jimmy is a ghost, and he was the most dangerous prisoner of his time. Knowing all this, bodyguard escapes from here without fighting him. Now Roy has no choice, because he knows, that if he does not give Jimmy information about his targets, he will kill him. Now there is no other way, Roy gives information about her targets to Jimmy here. After getting the information, Jimmy leaves to hunt his next target. On the other hand, we see Officer Humphreys, who arrives with his partner Cicero to investigate the same spot, where Jimmy killed his first target. Meanwhile, we see a hitman who is very expert in his work, and people know him by the name of Killer. Killer gets a call from a client here, and he gives him a contract to kill Jimmy. Client sends Killer a photo of Jimmy, so that he can identify him. Meanwhile, while investigating, Detective Cicero finds a videotape that tells him about Jimmy's past. Cicero tells his partner Humphreys, that Jimmy was involved in a big robbery, and he was very adept at driving cars. After robbery, his team also managed to escape, but when they came home, they were attacked by another gang. They tortured them and asked them about the stolen money, but Jimmy's brother Gary doesn't tell them anything. Seeing this, a gang member threatens Jimmy, that if you do not tell us about the money, we will kill your brother Gary. Now to save his brother's life, Jimmy tells them about the money, but even then they kill his brother Gary in front of Jimmy, and then someone shoots Jimmy in the head from behind. The robbers think Jimmy is dead, but he is saved by a team of doctors. Doctors put iron plates in his skull, and then he is sent to prison. Cicero tells Humphreys, that I have come to know through my detective, that Jimmy is avenging his brother's death after coming out of prison, and he will kill all those who killed his brother. Meanwhile, we see Jimmy who arrives to kill his next target. This man's name is Kenneth Tyson. Tyson is the same man who was recording Jimmy that day. Here we see Killer who has been following Jimmy relentlessly. Jimmy approaches Tyson, and he shoots directly into his forehead, killing Tyson on the spot. After finishing his target, Jimmy starts going from here. But the killer was just behind Jimmy, he comes to kill him, but Jimmy shoots at him, and leaves without killing him, because Jimmy's aim is to kill only those people, who have killed his brother. Killer gets very angry here, because for the first time today he could not kill his victim. After this Jimmy comes to meet his girlfriend, whose name is Marina. Seeing Jimmy she gets very angry, and slaps him, because Jimmy left her alone. Jimmy says that whatever I did was to save my unborn child and myself. Hearing this, Marina starts crying and says, that after you went to prison, I abortion our unborn child, and now I've started a new life with another person. Marina says, I know you are killing those people who killed your brother, so I also wish you kill all of them. Now Jimmy leaves from here to kill his next target. His next target is Hovis Nixon, who works at a strip club in Nevada. Nixon is the same man, who killed Jimmy's brother by slitting his throat. Coming to the club, Jimmy starts looking for Nixon. Only then he sees that Nixon is going to the washroom, so he also follows him. When Nixon sees Jimmy in front of him, he takes out a knife to fight him. Jimmy also attacks him with a sharp object. A long fight ensues between the two, and Jimmy wounds Nixon badly. After killing Nixon, Jimmy leaves. The next morning, Jimmy learns through the radio that Nixon is not dead yet, rather he is still alive, and admitted to the hospital. Hearing this news, Jimmy quickly turns his car, and leaves for the hospital. Next, we see Officer Humphreys, who knows that Jimmy stabbed Nixon at the strip club, so he comes to the hospital, because he knows, that Jimmy will come to the hospital to kill Nixon. Meanwhile, we see Killer, who is told by his client, that Jimmy is on his way to the hospital to kill his target. 
On the other hand, after reaching the hospital, Jimmy comes directly to the operation room, and as soon as he comes here, he kills Nixon. Hearing the sound of gunshots, Humphreys knows that Jimmy is here, so he goes after him. Officer shoots at Jimmy, Jimmy shoots at him in return. Taking a chance, Jimmy points the gun at Humphreys, seeing which, Humphreys also lowers his gun, he feels that now Jimmy will kill him, but Jimmy does nothing to him, and leaves from here, because his aim is not to kill any innocent human being. On the way, Jimmy sees a car which was following him continuously, actually, inside the car there is killer who wants to kill Jimmy, Jimmy drives his car fast, and comes in front of him, if Jimmy wanted, he could have killed the killer, but he does not do so, because his mission is only to eliminate his enemies, so he shoots at the tire of her car, but killer wanted to kill his victim, so he shoots at him, the bullet hits Jimmy's neck, and Jimmy runs away. After this Jimmy comes to his house, because he wants to kill his father, Jimmy thinks that his father had planned to kill him and his brother Gary, because his father was asking them for the money they stole, but they both refused to give money to their father, hearing this, his mother explains to him and says, that your father could never do this, because he loved both of you very much, and why would a father want to kill his son, when he loves his son so much, Jimmy's mother treats his wound and says, that Gary's girlfriend knew about your robbery, and may have told other gang members about your plan, hearing this, Jimmy leaves from here, Jimmy's next target is a man named Alexander Jared, who has now become a preacher of Christianity. When Jimmy was going to kill him, on the way he listens to Jared's speech on the radio, in which he tells that a person should never steal, nor should he hurt anyone, and if a person makes a mistake, then we must forgive him. Hearing all this, Jimmy tears up in his eyes. Meanwhile, we see Officer Humphreys who tells his partner Cicero, that the people who killed Jimmy and his brother, were also involved in a robbery. And now Jimmy has killed all his enemies, but there's still one man left alive, so I'll definitely save that man from Jimmy. On the other side Jimmy had reached his next target, here we see the killer who had come to this place. After taking information from his client, Jimmy walks in, where Jared is giving his speech and there are a lot of people in front of him. Jared recognizes Jimmy when he sees him here. Actually, Jared used to be a decoyed and murderer before, but now he has changed himself. Jimmy brings him out of the tent with him. Jared says that I regret my deeds, and now I've changed myself completely. He tells Jimmy that I cannot bring your brother back, and even if you kill me, your brother will not come back. Nothing has been put in this fire of revenge, but I know that you will take your revenge. Even after that I expect your forgiveness. Saying this Jared gets down on his knees, and apologizes to Jimmy. Hearing Jared's words, Jimmy tries to kill him, but he realizes inside that Jared has changed, and is no longer the old Jared, so Jimmy leaves him alive, and leaves from here. Jimmy comes inside at the same place, where Jared gives his speech. Jimmy sits alone looking at his brother's photo and remembers him. Then here comes Killer, who points gun at Jimmy. Killer says that I will complete my mission by killing you. When the killer sees Jimmy's list, he says that there is a man missing in this list, and you do not know him, that man is responsible for the death of your brother, and he has also given me the contract to kill you, because he knew, that you will definitely come to kill him. On the other side, Humphreys calls his partner Cicero and tells, that I have found Jimmy and I am going to catch him. Hearing this, Cicero says that you do not go there alone, because going to him alone will be dangerous, so you wait, and I will bring the team to that place very soon. But Humphreys does not listen to Cicero, and starts going inside with his gun, inside. Killer tells Jimmy that I have been trying to kill you for many days, and you had a chance in between, if you want, you can kill me were, but you didn't do that, but I will not leave you. Hearing this, Jimmy says that I did not kill you, because I do not have any enmity with you, both of them were talking. When Humphreys comes here, he points the gun at Killer, seeing which Killer lowers his gun. Then suddenly Humphreys shoots Jimmy in the head. Seeing this, Killer says that it was you who gave me the contract to kill it. Humphreys says yes, I have been waiting for many days when you will kill it. But when I came to know, that you could not kill it, then I had to go after it to kill it myself. Killer says, I can't understand why you killed him, when your name was not there in his list. Upon hearing this, Humphreys smiles, here we learn that the man who shot Jimmy in the head during the robbery, was none other than Officer Humphreys. Actually, Humphreys' wife is Gary's girlfriend and she told Humphreys about Gary and Jimmy's robbery, after which, Humphreys goes to Jimmy's house with his team, and kills all his accomplices, and takes all the money from there. Humphreys knew, that sooner or later Jimmy would come to know about him, so he wanted to kill Jimmy as soon as possible. The killer starts leaving from here, Humphreys stops him and gives him his fee, but the killer does not take the money, and says don't contact me again. After this, Humphreys calls his wife and tells her, that I have killed Jimmy, and now we can live a peaceful life. Other side, we see Detective Cicero who knows, that Officer Humphreys was involved in the murder of Jimmy's brother, so she quickly heads to Humphreys's location. Humphreys was talking to his wife, only then Jimmy fired at him from behind. Humphreys was here surprised, that how did Jimmy survive? Jimmy says that last time when you shot in my head, the doctors operated and inserted an iron plate in my skull. 
and this time when you fired, that bullet hit this plate, so nothing happened to me and I survived. Saying this, Jimmy shoots Humphreys, after killing Humphreys, Jimmy leaves from here, after some time Cicero reaches here with his team, he finds Humphreys dead here, he understands that Jimmy killed him, because Humphreys was responsible for his brother's death, Jimmy has now killed all his brother's murderers, so he frees his brother's bones, after which Jimmy takes his car, and leaves from here at high speed, and the movie ends here.